Hello. Let me see if I can guide you through the OWL and help you in getting into the APA guidance. So from our main menu, and you'll see the example in the background here, click on Purdue OWL. You see the tab highlighted in yellow at the bottom. This will take you to the Welcome to Purdue OWL page. You see the heading at the top of the next column. From there, go to the menu on the bottom left and choose APA Guide. You see it highlighted, and that will take you to the link labeled APA Formatting and Style Guide. Click that link. Clicking the APA Formatting and Style Guide will bring you to the General Format page, and you'll see the snippet listed here that tells us all the different features or links that we can link to for guidance. Now the first uh, resource on your practice resources is a book. So let's start with the book and you'll notice it's listed reference list for books. Click there. Clicking the reference list for books will bring you to these examples. There is a generic example where we just have the author, year of publication, title of work, and the location of the publisher. And then there's a more specific where those are interpreted into an actual work. So you'll see the authors of CALFI, comma, R, period, C, period, comma, and, with the ampersand sign, Valencia, comma, R, period, R, period. Then we have the year of publication in parentheses, 1991, followed by a period. Next is the uh, title of the work, title of the book, the APA Guide to Preparing Manuscripts for Journal Publication, period. And you'll notice this is in the sentence format, which means only the first word of the title and subtitle are capitalized. It's followed by the location and the publisher, in this case, it was published in Washington, comma, capitalized DC, colon, by the American Psychological Association. One thing that we'll notice here that's different in others is that the title of the book is italicized. So you have to take the information that's provided to you in the practice references, and it's got headers and heavy print. It says title and subtitle. All that stuff doesn't show up. That's just uh, even the header book doesn't show up. That's just there to tell you what style to put it in. And so it will look like this. Uh, I've taken the book entry and put it into APA format. So you'll see it starts with the author's last name and initials, the year of publication, the title and the subtitle, and you'll notice the sentence form, only the first word of the title, all, is capitalized, and the first word of the subtitle, earning, is capitalized. And there's a period, and then we have our publication information, Greenville, SC, colon, Greedy Green Publishing. So that's what a book looks like when it's formatted in APA style. And then you move to the next reference. There's no listing on the menu for newspaper or magazine or scholarly journal, so we have to know that those are articles and periodicals. A periodical is anything that's published on a regular schedule, monthly or quarterly or daily uh, or annually. So we go and click on the list or the um, link for reference list, articles and periodicals. And there we see the examples for an article in a magazine and an article in a newspaper. The big difference, I think, is that we have the month and day and the date of publication. And we have the title not italicized, but the container or the name of the magazine is italicized. The name of the newspaper is italicized. And then we have page numbers. And with the newspaper, we have page numbers along with section numbers. There's not a lot to add here. I think this is just a review to call your uh, attention to the fact that there are some differences between the book and the magazine article and between the magazine and the newspaper. 
Um, so again, you see that the name of the magazine and the paper is italicized. The name of the article in either is not italicized. Page numbers are included and um, section numbers are included for the newspaper entry. At least one of your practice resources has a DOI number assigned. DOI is a new system of cataloging scholarly work and the rule is if it has a DOI then use it. So here you'll see um, the example where we have the authors, date of publication, the title, the title of the journal, and then instead of saying retrieved from with the website we have DOI and the DOI number is listed. So where you have a DOI number, use it in place of the URL. One of the big challenges is to know what kind of resource you're working with and then finding it in the menu on the OWL. So if you're working with a non-periodical web document, which is essentially a web page, uh, you have to go and look for reference list electronic resources. And when you look through electronic resources, eventually you'll get to the non-periodical web document. And you'll notice one of the difference here is that it has retrieved from and then the URL of the web address. Uh, so that's different from the DUI. And other things are the same, right? Um, we have the author's last names and initials, the date of publication, the title of the document is italicized and then retrieved from the website. So make sure that you know what you're looking for, a book or a, an electronic resource or a magazine or newspaper, a periodical. Know, understand what you're looking for and then go into the OWL and click on that list, that, um, that link for that resource and follow those examples. Maybe this will make it a little bit easier.